some chips, you better get them quick. That's why you get them from the SAS and Quick Chips. I am Brandon, and that's the Heel Will Mahoney. Snack time palette, and we going south of the border yet again today here on Quick Chips. That's right. You know, we like to go south of the border whenever we can. Mm -hmm. And today, uh, we have something I stumbled upon during my vacation recently. Uh, in a little store called the Colmore Gift Shop, I believe. It's a former drug fair slash Rite Aid. Uh, that basically when you walk in, it's like walking into Mexico. Okay, very There's nice. There's like no American products. All the painkillers are in Spanish. Nice. Like everything. It's really interesting. Uh, you know, a different slice of life except for the Asian lady that runs it behind the counter. It's a vacation with no passport needed. Yeah, the Asian lady seemed kind of confused when I brought these up and didn't know quite what they were, but <laughs> basically they are Cheetos Horneados Comios Mas Producto. That's a lot of words. Horneados. Exactly. <laughs> Apparently that means fangs. Cheetos fangs. Spicy cheese flavor. Now the interesting thing about this okay. is that it looks like it might come with a little packet of salsa in there. Yeah, what does that say? Salsa? Salsa, dolt, yeah, 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 yeah. Could, could get a good shot of that. That there might very well be some sort of a container in there of some sort. And very then, interesting. What's the second one? Second one is, well, they got a big thing over it, but it says they are Cheetos Torciditos. Okay. Torciditos, mas producto, of course, as well. Cheetos spicy cheese flavor. Okay, those look more generic, like yeah. generic old Cheetos. So maybe let's do those first and yeah. leave these with the the possible. Accoutrement in it now the, as, a, as, a, as a main event. The caveat to this is both of these are actually expired, but I figure we'll give them a shot, see if they're good. If not, we'll see. This could be a disaster. It could not be. We'll see. All right, we'll open see. it up. It's got some kind of thing inside there. I don't know what that is. It smells just like Cheetos mostly. It, it, it's like dirty Cheetos. I don't know what the thing is inside there. Oh, it looks like one of those uh, sleeves from, um, it's one of those sashes. It's one of those sashes that the um, I like the, uh, the Doritos have. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's totally, but it's on the inside of the bag. Very strange, okay? Very speckled, kind of, looks like yeah. literally like you found some Cheetos in the street. Yeah, they're very, very, very spiced up and um, a little dirty looking. Yeah, let's see. Hmm? Don't really seem to be affected by the expiration. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they taste, they, they taste fine. Um, what the heck? They're all dirty. Um, oh, hmm. I don't think they're going bad. Um, <laughs> no, I think it tastes pretty good overall. Um, this tastes like basically regular cheese. I don't think any spice in this room at all. Yeah. No, definitely no spice. Just cheese. Oh. Cheese, a little bit of seasoning to them. Yeah, a little oh. bit. They taste like slightly seasoned Cheetos. Yeah. Um, hmm. Interesting. So no, yeah. nothing, nothing terribly remarkable about them. No, not at all. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, I think they're just fairly basic. I don't really think that they're anything that you can uh, write home about. They were $1.50 for the bag. You know, they're pretty good. I'd give them, I don't know what, uh, two thirds of a thumbs Yeah, that sounds about right, because for the most part, they just taste like Cheetos. Yeah, okay. there's, there's nothing terribly unique or different about them. Definitely nothing spicy. Right. Just generic Cheetos of some sort. Um, yeah. Um, and let's see here now. Now these, this is the this is the crazy uh, wild card here. Exactly. Is there going to be some sort of thing in here of some sort that has some sort of a spiciness going on? Corneados corn. What is it? Mios. Um, cold mios. Mios. Cold yeah. Cold, 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 yeah. Cold, cold mios. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's see here. Open that up. And first things first. I do. They're fatter. I do not see. Take a good look. I, don't see I do not see stuff. some sort of a container in there of some sort. No, I think maybe they're just implying that the sauce is added to this. Maybe. Yeah. They're yeah. definitely wow. They're definitely dark. They're really dirty looking. And they're fat. And they are like the shape of a fang. Yes, they are plump, plump and dirty. And yeah, you don't get a whole ton in the darn bag. Um, they smell pretty tomatoey, pretty spicy overall. Oh yeah, definitely a tomato scent to them. Absolutely. Huh. Okay. So let's go ahead and try them. Let's see. Mm. What is that seasoning I've had that before? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Not paprika. Mmm. Maybe paprika. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think kind of. With a slight sweetness at the they end. They do have some spice. Yeah. yeah. There's kind of like a lime. Kind of yeah. like a lime going on at the end. Yeah. 
I'm liking these. I don't see any. Okay, actually, it has the the uh, ingredients in English here, but I don't see anything that really. It says mix of spices. All right. I don't, I don't I'm know. I'm picking up lime. Yeah. More little, than anything else. Little lime. I don't know what the overall heat producing thing is. Perhaps a chili powder or paprika type mix. I like them though. And they're not stale. Yeah, I'm def definitely, oh no, they're definitely fine. They got a lot more flavor to them than those other ones. A little bit of heat, right. maybe lime sticking around more than anything else. Botana de cereal de maize con chile y sabor. Mm. Yeah, chili, okay. Yeah, so chili yeah. powder. Yeah. Chili powder. It's a chili powder and like some lime in there. Yep, exactly. Maybe a little bit of beef taste maybe? I think of? so too. I like them better than the other ones. Which oh, absolutely. Right? These I really like. They're unique. I can't think of any Cheetos like this, you know, here in the States. Right. Um, yeah, um, I'm going full thumbs up on them. I really like them. They're different. I'm not quite that enthused, but I'm pretty enthused. So I'm going to go ahead and give them three quarters thumbs up on this South of the Border edition of Quick Chips. Thank you guys for watching. You can join our group by clicking on the link down below in the description. Uh, almost 500 people or something like that in our group, and you should be part of it too. Follow us on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS at the Hewell Mahoney. That right. And use the hashtag of. Oh, you know all about hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. Use it on the Twitter, use it on the Instagrams at Brandon Reich SAS at Heel Will Mahoney, all over the social media universe to find all your snacking needs. That is right. And uh, also, um, you want to do the Four Horsemen of YouTube. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Also, comment down below. And in the meantime, in between time, we shall see you next time. Bye-bye. Bam!